Hello, my name is Andrea Sani and I'm a regional manager with AWR Group and National Instruments. Today I'm here to talk about the um, integration of the Axiom electromagnetic software in Cadence Virtuoso. The, the, the AWR design environment includes several tools, for example, Microwave Office for circuit design, Visual System Simulator for uh, system level design, and we also have electromagnetic software such as Analyst for full wave 3D electromagnetic analysis and Axiom. Axiom is a planar method of moments tool. Uh, since last year was announced at the latest, uh, at the last IMS, that now Axiom works under Cadence Virtuoso. So it's possible to extract part of the layout from Cadence Virtuoso and simulate it with the Axiom uh, planar MOM simulator. So, just to introduce Axiom, Axiom is a 3D planar meter of moment solver. It's based on the integral formulation of the Maxwell's equations. Uh, like every meter of moment code, solves for currents on horizontal metal and on vertical bias, and is very well suited, fast and efficient when it comes to simulate uh, planar um, structures, such as, for example, silicon chips. It's very flexible when it comes to port settings. You can have different port options with different ground referencing. They can be interior ports as well as edge place ports. It's got a very advanced and optimized meshing technology, allowing to uh, mesh with hybrid uh, triangle and rectangular mesh cells in order to uh, reduce simulation time. It can also account for thick or thin metal and it scales very well with capacity, so you can solve quickly and efficiently uh, very large problems. Furthermore, the Axiom simulation software is very accurate and robust, uh, down to DC up to very high frequency. Here you can see some of the structure that could be simulated with Axiom under Cadence Virtuoso. You can simulate single elements like uh, spiral inductors or transformers, or you could also apply Axiom to simulate a uh, larger part of a silicon chip layout. So why should we use EM simulation for analog silicon design? So if you see uh, what people have been doing for uh, traditional gallium arsenide and gallium nitride mimic design, you typically have a very low device count and the nets between the different components, between the different transistors, are very well simulated with distributed line models as well as with loads of like EM simulation sweeps. So we can actually say the nets are part of the design flow. On the other hand, in traditional analog design, nets are usually treated as parasitics, and the EM tool is not used in design phase, is more used as a verification tool. But the question is, as we grow in frequency, is still um, possible to only use uh, EM simulator for, as, a design, as a verification tool? So what's happening is that in recent years we've seen people designing um, silicon chips at higher and higher frequency. Therefore, as the frequency, um, you know, as, as you go for higher frequency, uh, the electrical length is longer. Uh, you have problems such as coupling between different traces and conductors. You have uh, problems when you have an imperfect ground. Therefore, all these problems need to be uh, simulated with a, an electromagnetic tool. So where should we actually use electromagnetic simulation in silicon design? It can be used for things such as distributed structures like inductors and balloons. Uh, it can be used for uh, cases where you don't have a model available, like you want to simulate a ground mesh, you don't have a, 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 a circuit level model available, you need to um, analyze these with the EM software. And of course, another area where electromagnetic uh, simulation is very popular in IC design is when it comes to getting off and on the chip. So EM simulation can be used for simulating bond wires, BGA bolts, uh, packages, and so on. Here you can see a typical um, simulation, a typical structure, a spiral inductor. The question that we often get is, how do I actually place my ports? And the answer is, you should always place your ports in a way that they should emulate your measurements. So if you can see in this case, you have a plus minus port, so we have a plus two, minus two, and Axiom will impose a voltage between a, um, the plus terminal and the minus terminal. And this is very similar to what you actually uh, measure in the lab. Here you can see the meshing on the spiral inductor. Uh, as I said before, Axiom has got a hybrid meshing, and you will refine your mesh 
where the current tend to flows. Like in this example, uh, you can see that there is an edge meshing applying to the, um, to the edge of the spiral conductor, and this is where the current is, um, is flowing. And also, like next to the port, you can clearly see that the, there, are, uh, there is a finer meshing in order to account for the uh, concentration, for the higher current in the, in the region. Once you simulate this spiral inductor, it, takes, it doesn't take long. You can simulate DC to 10 gigahertz in less than a minute, exactly in 30 seconds. And you can extract the S parameters. And from the S parameters, you can extract inductance value, resistance value, and uh, Q, for example. Another area where um, electromagnetic analysis and axing can be used in silicon chip design is uh, to analyze interconnects. So typically in interconnects you have several devices, like in this case two different capacitors, and as you go in frequency the interconnects between the different elements need to be accounted for. And in this case you can see the uh, EM, uh, the axiom meshing of the interconnect and what is important is that in silicon you typically have um, loads of vias and you cannot directly mesh every single via so before you can simulate this structure you need to cluster, you need to merge all these vias and you will perform a simulation just of, um, you will mesh only a single larger via. So you will save loads of time because you don't have to mesh uh, every single uh, via but you will not going to lose in accuracy. And as a latest note, um, Axiom can be results that uh, you obtain from Axiom under Virtuoso can be compared with the results you obtain uh, from Axiom running directly in AWR, and you can always find good agreement. Therefore, it's now possible to directly launch uh, Axiom EM simulation um, in Cadence Virtuoso. So, as a summary, uh, Axiom is the best, best in class planar 3D EM simulator and it's now possible to run Axiom directly from Virtuoso and we can move the EM tool from being a, a verification tool from, for silicon design to be a design tool. Thank you for your attention.